So we're talking about ascending and descending rope now. Uh, this is how it was done in the past. This is not necessarily how we do it uh, anymore, but it's still uh, an effective system. If you want to use it, they're called Purcell Prussics. It's basically made up of three components. There's just one standard Prussic cord right here that I've got triple wrapped onto my rope, and that's attached to my chest piece right here. And that's my main attachment point to the rope. It allows me to sit into it, okay? This, is actually two separate pieces. One is tied onto the other. So with Purcell Prussics, you have your regular Prussic, and then you have a long Prussic, and then a medium Prussic. Um, and Nate has, this is Nate's set, and he's got his set up to where he's tied his medium Prussic onto his long one, so that his foot loops stay at the same point. You can also tie these onto the line individually, one at a time, does that make sense? Okay, so to operate the system, you just get your chest harness on, sit down into it, Get your legs to kind of a comfortable point, and then you're gonna put your foot loops on. When I do these, see how I have that oriented so that the tie is on the inside of my foot? It's gonna make it a lot more comfortable as I'm climbing. Make sure I do the same with the other one. And those are adjustable, I can make them bigger, and then if I want, I can cinch them down onto my foot so that it won't move. Put my other one on as well. So Purcell Prussics, when you build them, you build like an individual pair of them, right? And you size them based on how tall you are. So this is Nate's set, and obviously Nate is a little bit taller than me, so it's a little inconvenient. But to make this work, I'm in the system now, it's loaded. I'll stand up to my foot loop, I'll slide up my chest, and sit down into that, and I just do that bit by bit, all the way up however high I want to go. Since I'm a little bit smaller on my foot loop, I've chosen just to do two wraps instead of three wraps, right? This is my main attachment point. I always want to have three wraps here for safety, um, but it's a little easier for me as a small person to move it with two, just two wraps on here. If you're heavier, you'll probably want to have three, or if you're really heavy, potentially even four wraps on your prussic there to, to move along. So then you just keep leapfrogging through the system just like that, however high up you want to go. Hey Justin? Yes. Yeah. You can go back to the cross, you had a cross load, but I want to show what that is. Oh, sure. Excellent teaching point, great job. Okay, this is what we're talking about when we say cross loading. You see that, how that happened? So that is the minor axis that's being pulled apart right there. The, the weakest orientation. So when you see that, you want to eliminate it. There you go. It's something you want to watch out for when you're ascending ropes because you're going to be constantly weighting and unweighting it. And there's nothing, there's not like a running double overhand in it where it's going to keep it in that one specific orientation that you want. So that's something you have to watch out for. Now, with the Purcells, you can also down climb. So if I want to down climb, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to slide down my chest pressic and sit down into that. And I want to be careful that I don't bring it down too far to where I get kind of stuck on my legs. I need to have these slack so I can slide this down. Stand up. And just out. When you get close to the ground, can you show what it's like when you get too far down? Yeah, I sure can. I can do it right here. So if I bring this too far down, and I get to this point, now it's hard for me to reach up and break that and I'm potentially have, if I have weight on it, I'm not gonna be able to break it and slide it down. Make sense? And then it's hard to stand back up. Yes. <laughs> and that's Purcell Pressix. Questions? Okay. So one advantage of the Purcells that still exists is if you're in an environment where this rope is all muddy, these still work.